Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can delete records from your database with Laravel using a Tailwind pop-up model. To make things simpler we're going to use Flowbyte and Livewire. So let's get started. Firstly we'll set up our database. I'll go to the user migration and add a last name field. After that we'll create a seeder for our users table. We are going to use Faker to insert random user data. Using a for loop, we're going to create 10 user instances. Then in a database seeder, simply reference the user seeder. After that, we're going to migrate and see it with one command. Now we will have to set up LiveWire. We're going to use the LiveWire documentation. We are going to remove the default Laravel welcome page and create our own. After setting up LiveWire, we are going to need to set up Tailwind. And we are going to use the Flowbyte documentation. But before doing that, we need to run the command npm install. Now it's time to set up our development environment. Firstly type npm run dev, then open a new terminal and type php artisan serve. Then we're going to need to create our livewire component. In the live wire view, simply copy a table from the flow by documentation and then edit it as you will. Here you use add live wire and simply reference the blade file. Now make a controller for our homepage and return the welcome view with all of the users from the database. Since 
since we use the compact function to send the users, here we need to reference the associative array we sent from the home controller. we are going to use a for else loop to fetch the data into our table. After that is done, we are going to copy a delete model from the Flowbyte documentation. Create a separate blade file for the model and then include it. Then copy data model target and data model toggle into the button. Next, add wire click to the button, name the method and as a parameter add the ID of the user. Add the method into the live wire controller and add a property for the selected user ID and initiate it to zero. When we click the delete button, the select user ID becomes the current user ID. In the models delete button add a wire click that will hold a method with no parameters. With this method we will confirm the deletion. If the selected user ID is equal to zero, we will simply return and not perform any further actions. If the selected user ID is not equal to zero, we will proceed to delete the corresponding row and then set the selected user ID back to zero. When the model disappears after an action is performed, we can prevent it from disappearing by adding the wire ignore self attribute to the model. This will ensure that the model does not get removed from the DOM. Although the method appears to be working, it does not show the changes after a page refresh. So let's fix this. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. 
If you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Until next time, take care.